Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Indie Impressions. My name is Nick and today we're going to look at Beast Boxing Turbo by Good Hustle Studios Incorporated. Uh, this one is a monster boxing game. I've never quite played one of those yet on this channel, but today we're going to. Um, sort of reminds me a little bit of this game called Xeno Clash. You might have heard of it. It's it's a little niche. You might not have. I don't know. Uh, there's also a first-person fighting kind of game uh, on the original Xbox called Breakdown. Uh, I don't know how much that's going to inf be influenced by that. I think that was more sci-fi, but, you know, still should be interesting. I think Xeno Clash was a little bit more accurate considering, you know, that one had a bunch of strange-headed things fighting you. So, yeah, options menu very quickly because you asked for it. All right, resolution stuff, cool. Controls, set it up for 360 already, looks good. Credits, very, very quickly. Look at this pig guy in the background. I think he's our coach or something. I don't know, we're gonna see. All right, that's gonna be all we can fit. Let's get started, shall we? In the Beast Boxing Leagues of Beastalia, the strongest monsters fight for fame and fortune. And then they press A? No. Okay, they click. A human entering the leagues would be unheard of, but it's always been your dream. Having been in fights with punk beasts as a kid, you think you could take them if only given a chance and the right training. I read too fast. I guess I have to click at each one. Okay. It's why you brought this awesome monster costume, and it's why this is either going to be the smartest thing you ever did or the stupidest. Can it be you've ever done? Oh, uh, grammar, I can't stop. Sorry. <laughs> Holy crap, what's going on? Alright, so ha ha ha, that's how we welcome trainees. I haven't seen such a scrawny sc uh, slum dog in a long time. Well, fresh meat, name's Pigless. I think that's how you say that. I run the qualifier matches and I'll handle your orientation. Press escape to open the pause menu. From there, go to controls, customize keyboard, gameplay, uh, pad buttons, did that. First lesson, how to not get punched. That seems like a good one. Put up your gloves in front of your face to block. Press down. Got it. So first thing I notice, uh, cool art style, actually. I quite like it. Uh, looks a little bit like the Street Fighter 4 style, maybe a little. Very bright, very colorful. Um... I like it. Very good. Alright, hold left or right key to avoid punches. Alright, so I want to slide to the sides. Uh, that seems to work pretty well. Good to know. What is that weird thing on the left side there? It's like a bug clapping for me. Yeah, moving around's easy, but can you hit me back? I'd like to see you try. Hit me with some straight punches, alright? Uh, quickly press and release punch will still... Alright, uh, got it. Uh, left and right punch. Uh, I'm trying to hold it. Do I want it? I can't seem to get it to hold. I did it the first time. I keep putting my mouse cursor in the center of the screen. I'm not sure if uh, that was intended. Alright, I don't know exactly how I did that. I thought I was supposed to hold down, you know, the punch buttons, but it wasn't seeming to do it. I think I had to, like, hit some combination of buttons there. Just got power off draw now. Bend knees hit me as you rise up. Okay, we're doing uppercuts now. Press left to right punch up and up. Okay, we can do that too. Simple enough. Believe it or not, I'm actually quite a fan of, like, the Fight Night games. Uh, the, like, Fight Night Round 3 on the Xbox. I actually played that a lot. Even though I'm not really a sports fan, uh, I actually do kind of like boxing a little bit. So I, I do appreciate uh, attention given to boxing games as long as they're not just like the mash the button type of game. If you get tired, watch the power bar in the upper left at full power to do the most damage. Best to keep it high. If you run out, you'll be a second sitting duck. Peace boxing is best two or three. Winners are decided only by KO. There are no ties. Okay, well that figures they're beasts. If you lose a title bout, you'll go down a ranking, so be careful. Green bar is the top show health, runs out, that's a KO. Regain health over time, red that shows up as damage that will block your healing until the next round. I kind of figured that's what that was. Um, I, there's just certain tropes you pick up from playing certain genres of game, and that I think is pretty common. Uh, even like in games like Street Fighter or uh, like Marvel vs. Capcom, there's like a certain percentage of the bar that stays 
uh, sort of filled, and as long as you can get your character swapped out and then they'll like heal off, uh, heal up while you're in the background. So, uh, similar idea, a little different though. This is where you part ways and you go practice. Next qualifier event is in a month against yours truly, so I gotta fight my trainer. That seems kind of weird. On oh, another thing, bring that ridiculous suit to a tailor before you come back. I may be fine with humans, but ain't everyone so. Ain't everyone so open minded as me. I think you wanted to say everyone ain't. Sorry, I really can't stop the grammar thing. I promise I'm not meaning to be a jerk. Uh, so, yeah, we're a crazy lady with mantis suit. Decent art, looks good. So, rank number three in Bush League. That shouldn't be too hard. Alright, let's just go right for it. Maybe some of my prior experience can carry me through. Qualifying day is finally here, the costume sure works. Nobody suspects that I'm a human. Just hope I'm prepared. It seems a little unfair though, like if you get to wear a costume, like she's got an extra layer of padding to get in her way so things don't hit her as hard. It's weird that you'd want to be like this young lady fighting all these big crazy monsters, but you know, I guess some people just have that. Alright, I gotta not waste all my power. And I got a block. I do like to play these types of games strategically. I know boxing is a very strategic game, or, you know, sport. So it feels like it's doing it uh, less than justice to just try and wail away at a guy. You gotta look for your openings, pick your spots, I think they like to say. Boxing, uh, boxing, uh, blocking seems very... Uh, like catch all, like you, you don't seem to take much of any damage then. Well, actually, no, you take a little, but way less than you would. I actually might need to be a little bit more aggressive. This guy is harder than I expected him to be. I'm trying to mix up my hits. Oh man, he's taking advantage now. Very responsive, like everything feels really good. Uh, I mean, between the graphics and the controls, that's like all there is aside from having good AI. And I think so far, it's very well accomplishing uh, all of what it set out to do. I can already tell there's a pretty good chance that it's going to be a tight match all the way down. I'm sort of getting lost looking at the background a little bit, because I sort of like the way those guys are animating back there, but I can't really take my eyes off my opponent. Oh man, he's totally watching which side I'm coming from, and he just murdered my face. Alright, so we play this sort of like around a Street Fighter. Um, usually in boxing games, the stamina stuff type uh, carries over, but we're doing more of like a round-based fight. Um, you know, the more typical conventional fighting game style. I don't know why this is... This is actually kind of hard for me to commentate while I'm playing it. I should have probably done this post-commentary. Oh well. Some games are harder than others. So it's an interesting thing if you do YouTube videos for a while. You start to get pretty comfortable playing some types of games. But there's always going to be... Well, maybe not for everyone. For at least for me. There's always a few types of games that always give me trouble. And I guess since I haven't really played any boxing games, really any fighting games for that matter, that's uh, a first. I played a couple brawlers though. Alright, I gotta actually get some combos in. Like, this guy is harder than I expected him to be, of course. And now I'm sort of just wailing away, which is what I, exactly what I said I wasn't gonna do. Let him punch. Oh, see, I was thinking he was going for two, then he went for one and paused. That was a three. I gotta stop messing up here. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. My power's been really low this whole time. I should have been paying more attention. Crap. Alright, this dude beat the junk out of me. Not sure how much junk I had in me to begin with, but I guess the loyal patrons of this boxing venue, we'll see it all laid out before them on the mat, or in the ring. Got some talent, not quite ready yet, come back next time, give it another shot. 
I got a constellation prize of 14 things. And there is my accuracy, kinda bad, 32%. Gotta show some aggressiveness, so maybe I was playing a little bit too defensively. I don't know, let's try again. I'm somewhat eager to see where this game goes, because I actually really quite like the presentation and everything, and I want to see what other crazy characters we find, and dialogue options and such. I should probably be moving around more, too. Uh, tough thing about that is it's kind of strange, because you can't really see exactly where your character is, but this is definitely helping. Like, it's, look where the hands are. They're showing up ranging from the bottom right to the bottom left corners. So this guy's obviously way more powerful than me, so I gotta counteract that by being faster and more agile. Oh, he just tried to headbutt me, that jerk! So I can't probably take this guy on, like, full force. Man, no. I guess I gotta hold my block and move at the same time. Looks like he's totally going to take this round again. I don't even remember seeing a uh, difficulty or anything. Right, did I, did I pass that? Seems pretty hard. And this is coming from somebody who's, you know, played a boxing game before. I mean, I know roughly what to look for, but I'm not, like, trained on this character's like, moves and telegraphing stuff. I guess that's, uh, practice makes perfect, right? Jesus, come on, man! Alright, my power is super low, I gotta take a moment, get my stamina back, try and nail him a bunch of times. Alright, power is low again, block, recharge, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Alright, I was gonna let him get a hit in there. Oh, come on, I missed! Hit. I don't feel like I'm doing that many things wrong at this point. He's got instantaneous jabs there. I can't really block those because I just can't see him coming. Oh, that was good. I mean, it was super low damage, but I gotta get those fast hits in. That's really my thing. So, uh, if I know anything about boxing, it's that every boxer has their own style, or at least some variation of their own style. And you gotta play to your strengths. And you're obviously not gonna beat somebody that's way overweight on you uh, if you don't strategically play. So, that, I mean, that's another big win for him. I'm gonna give it another shot. I feel like I can get it eventually, just need a little bit more time in the ring, I suppose, to get used to it. Constellation prizes suck. Yeah, I know, I gotta play better. I guess at least on this first one, it's not like you really lose anything. How embarrassing, I can't even beat the first guy. I gotta stop whiffing so many punches too, that's important. Come on, I do these big slow uppercuts. You know, it's weird that it was telling me to be more aggressive, as I think actually that's really not my problem, I just need to be more strategic. I think I was being plenty aggressive, I think I was just doing it at the wrong moments. And I need to pay much, much more attention to my stamina gauge. Alright, there we go. That was a nice set right there. I need more of that. Oh, that was a lot of blocks he just put on there. Oh, block counter? Nope. Get away. Get away. See, when you block, you get super slow to move back and forth, so you gotta kinda balance the two. Sometimes you're actually gonna wanna be unguarded and move over. I feel like I knew what I was doing still- well, at this point I feel like I was. Am. Jeez. 
Well, there is probably a point when this girl is going to make this realization going, Hey, I am not supposed to be doing this. Alright, I gotta really, really be careful and watch every individual move he makes really carefully. I know I'm saying that a lot. Go for combos, go for big hits when I can. Let him waste strikes. He doesn't seem to drain his stamina gauge very often. Because that would be another thing to capitalize on. I believe probably, uh, well, the, the typical thing is, you know, the heavier weight you are, the slower your stamina regains, but the more damage you do, so I would want to capitalize on him having no stamina gauge. Where's my jerk move? What do I do? Can I kick him in the nuts? Come on now. Can I take this slow, slow and steady, maybe. My stamina regen. Get out of there. There we go. Bob and weave, right? Bob and weave. That is not working at all. Now you need to just be way more aggressive and actually just play this like a button masher, right? Then just block for a while, let my stamina regen. Button mash again. Now get out of there. Can't can't move that fast. Stamina's gone. I like that effect when it gets all dim like that, actually. Well, I would guess that's probably... Uh, so, sort of realistic. <laughs> I don't know, I've never boxed. I have sparred. Um, I took Wushu when I was little, so I definitely exchanged blows with people, but I've never been just in a, like an open, no-mask, like, boxing match. What is he doing? <laughs> yes! No! No, everything was getting better, and then it failed. Beat your face! Oh, I hate your face so much. Stupid pig nose. Man, you think that thing would just be flattened by now. You know, despite the fact that this is a little frustrating how many times I've lost now, uh, it's actually pretty addictive. Um, I feel like I'm within the grasp of beating this at some point. I just keep being terrible at it one after another round. Uh, let's make this the last one, because then I'm going to leave it to you guys to beat him. But again, pretty embarrassing if I can't even beat the first guy in this video. I'm not proud of that. I mean, I get that this is more strategic than I expected it to be even. But I shouldn't be that bad at it. Come on. I actually would beat people online in Fight Night sometimes. And they were human. I don't think I got even that hung up on the whole, like, AI campaign in that. Maybe a couple of times. I was also kind of used to the control- not that these controls are at all difficult. So, that was fair. I must have some kind of jerk move that I can pull off. Because it seems a little messed up that he would get one and I don't. I should just try, like, pressing all the buttons, maybe. Oh, no, that's the pause menu. That's not the button I meant! Freaking pig face! Big stupid ears. You go over there. Oh, come on, I broke my guard for the exact moment he punched. At least that headbutt seems to have a pretty low rate of landing. Get out of there! Get out of there! I meant to put guard up. Guard didn't even work that time. Look how freaking much health he still has! I must just be doing this totally wrong. I feel like I had some pretty solid strategies, like, at least in my head, but, I mean, in execution, I don't think it's coming across somehow. I'm missing some part of this. Sweet science. Monster bo boxing, bashing, whatever. -ing. I should mention also the music. Uh, pretty good. Definitely appropriate. Uh, doesn't stand out especially, but it definitely doesn't detract from the experience either. Alright, so that's like, what, six losses in a row. Um, I guess I'll just play in the background while I close this one out. So yeah, this is, uh, pretty good, actually, Beast Boxing Turbo. I 
have no problem recommending this as long as you're prepared to get your butt kicked a few times. Um, I will stick around and keep playing this. I do want to see what goes on in this game later on. Uh, but for now, it seems like I need to pr put quite a bit more practice in. What was up with that? The camera just got stuck. So yeah, that's, uh, that's gonna do it for this episode. I do recommend it. Check it out. All links are gonna be in the description as always. Uh, I think I would like to see you guys brag in the comments about how much further you got than I could. So I'm just a big jerk and I can't play video games at all. That seems to be the common sentiment anyway. But if you feel that way, check out my 100% completion achievement in Dark Souls and my 100 completion achievement in Super Meat Boy. No, those are... they're good, but, you know, I've done other stuff too. Not trying to brag. I just want you to know I'm not that bad. Yeah, beat your stupid face. In, in, beat it in. I punch your buns. I punch them for fun, son. All right, so that's gonna do it for today's episode. Make sure you head on over to the website indie-impressions.com. Check out the new videos. Check out the old videos. Sort them by distribution method. Visit our forums. Leave some it's nice stuff for us. Uh, you can chat with me and Anza and all the other awesome people on the site. You're trying to headbutt me again, you jerk. And when you're done with the website, head on over to facebook.com slash indie impressions if you want to leave a like over there. That is going to basically make it so every single day's video shows up in your Facebook feed. And then you can uh, have me come to you instead of the other way around. And if you have any uh, comments, suggestions, comments, criticisms, I said comments twice, that's all good. Uh, feel free to let me know at, at RockleySmile on Twitter. Or if you know if you want to suggest a game, uh, preferably a free game unless your developer have a review copy. That's a good place to do it as well, but you can also do it on, you know, Reddit, YouTube, PM, email. There's a contact form on the website, all kinds of good stuff. And now uh, we can continue to find the coolest, most artistic, most unique, weirdest, awesomest, craziest indie games out there. That's my goal after all. We're like 220-something episodes in. I've been doing these videos every single day, and I, I thank you so much for all your support. I hope you come back again tomorrow for another one. I want to keep this going as long as I can and uh, everybody has just been wonderful so thank you so much for that and uh, I was waiting to end this with another loss there we go thank you so much for watching guys have a lovely night I will see you on the ground later <laughs>